It's time to drop the hammer. Interesting to see who get hustling first. You saw Riley Gray on the outside digging for all he's worth. Uh-oh, three wide for the number two spot. Here comes Jake Swanson. Swanson trying to capitalize on that little misstep down the corner out of Riley Gray. Gray looking down to the inside. Noah Balloon not impressed with the former national champ. Hangs tight with him down into turn number one and two slides up across. She's a little bitey down there as Jake Swanson be bopped his way up through. And he's able to get back around. Cal Cummins, a three-yard car. So they'll follow out turn number four. We got one up and over. Trouble for the 17 GP of Kevin Thomas Jr. And Blue's holding him up late in the corner. Punches the throttle. We're back underway. Down into turn number one and two. Gray up high with Blue down on the inside. Jake Swanson. Cal coming side by side with the Macho Man Bacon. He's looking for a little moisture on the high side. You get a big run. There's a slot job for the number two spot. Jake Swanson able to slip out across Riley Gray. Gray trying to come back at him. Swanson trying to be quick through three and four. He's able to hold him off. Gray goes up high. Meanwhile, Cummins throws a honker at the 19 AC car back behind. Carson Gary gets back around Leary. Leary's going to try her again down the corner. Nope, not going to happen. He checks up. Let's Gary get back around the outside. Well, bam, up into the corner. Here's Riley Gray. That'll allow the three R car to slip on through. Here comes Mitchell Bowles, the 19 AZ. So we got slide jobs happening all the way back through the field. Track really coming around, just like Deshan said. It's now Justin Grant throws the winger down into the corner. He'll try to make a pass for a position over the 81 of Riley Gray. Gray trying to go back to the inside. Grant on the defensive there for the number four car. Jake Swanson draws up alongside Robert Ballou and says, how you doing? Now to turn number one and two. This is your battle for the race lead. As they charge out of turn number four and down the front straightaway. Ballou's got lap traffic ahead. And unbelievably enough, it's team as Thomas Mesrell, the first one being encountered back towards the tail of the field. Timez trying to throw a slider down in the corner, as is Jake Swanson for the lead. Slips out across. Malou easily turns it back to the inside. 12 car back out onto the point. Swanson's right there. Hustles down into turn number one and two. Called a car length between those top two cars. It's down the inside goes Malou. Slide job on Ricky Lewis and lap traffic. Swanson down low. He's got the race lead. No, he does not. Ballou gets the strike first. There's a slide job. Parks it on the nose of the number 12 car. Clips these whiskers and fires it off towards the sunset for the 21 AC. It's now Ballou running in the number two spot. Swanson out front. Kyle Cummins now goes to work on the number 12. It's back behind. Reagan watching on from fourth on the field. Fifth still Mitchell Bowles. Here comes Kyle Cummins down the inside. Slide job out across the number 12. Ballou back to the inside. Up, oh, Kyle Cummins got clipped on the front. Gets hung up on Kevin Thomas Jr. for Swanson. Ballou down low. Cummins around the outside. He's got the number two spot away from him. That was a nice little move for the three-yard car. Beautiful to watch down at turn number one and two. Now he'll try to run down the 21 Z. AZ, who is hiding in lap traffic just ahead. And he's hustling for all he's worth. Got a good dig coming off the bottom for the 69. Not there just yet. Blue able to shut the door in his face and hang on to P3 for now. But here goes Moles looking around the outside. They'll come together right into the back bumper of the number 12 car. Bacon picks off Blue Down in the corner, Blue drives it off the banking. Meanwhile, Moles ricochets off the wall. Two cars slip by. Cummins throws a slide job on lap traffic. Oh, my goodness. Look anywhere on the racetrack for action you can find. It. The Team Arizona race. Racing ride up front. Swanson rolls out of the corner, picks up the white flag, and hustles down into turn number one and two. Still plenty of action to be seen back in the field. Slide jobs all behind your race leader, but up front is Jake Swanson. Took over captain of the ship for the number four starting spot. Worked the lap traffic like a master and picks up the win on night number one of the Circle City Salutes. But what a run up and out of the car he comes. Jake Swanson wins night number one of the Circle City Salute. Let him hear you, race fans. We'll send it down with Drake York. Thanks a lot, Chet. And Jake Swanson is finally a USAC National Sprint Car winner in the state of Indiana. He has been so close at the Indiana track so, so many times. And he's finally able to park it in victory lane. Mike's excited. We'll let Jake get the helmet off and get all the accolades and get a word with your winner here on night number one of the Circle City Salute. Craig Burkhart comes in too. Oh. 
Third career points paying win for Jake Swanson. Chet, you mentioned he picked up a special event earlier this season at Volusia. Jake, you have been so close so many times to winning a race in the state of Indiana with the USAC National Sprint Car Series. What does it feel like to now finally be a winner with this series in the state of Indiana? It feels like it's been too long. <laughs> uh, I just, uh, I'm so, so pumped for, for my guys, my race team. You know, we came here and it was like, it, it, it's so cool. You know, we like, I've got, I've got Mike, I've got all these guys from Arizona and we we're able to, to figure out how to win here. You know, I mean, we had, we had some help from, from, you know, Chassis Builder Joe and, and from, you know, different guys here and there. But for the most part, it's, it's him and I and Craig week in and week out. And we're just, you know, oh, we're, we're going to make it on stubbornness. And uh, we finally have, you know, so it's, it feels really good to, to finally check that off the list. And uh, now we can just keep racking them up. It seemed like you were faster than Robert for most of that race, and then you finally made your move in lap traffic, actually going three wide with the lap car. Was that the exact scenario you were looking for to make that move? I wanted something like that. Yeah, I, I was kind of biding my time. I didn't want to show him where I was and show him that I was there. I wanted to, to strike and, and uh, not even oh. let him know that I was coming. But uh, unfortunately, I did that. You know, he kind of he was able to get through the rough down here better than better than I was, but we were so much better, you know, through the black and everywhere else. We were, we were really, really good. So, you know, even though he knew we were there, I knew that uh, he had such a, such a train in front of him of lap cars. I knew that we were better as long as I was smart. I felt like we'd be able to pull it off. I knew it was going to be a good race between us and, uh, you know, it was. So, uh, yeah, I want to, want to congratulate him and, uh, you know, appreciate, uh, appreciate good racing. Jake Swanson, third career win, but quite possibly the biggest as he's a winner in the state of Indiana. Oh my goodness, an ambush on Jake Swanson.